How much to feed Rottweiler puppy? Charts and calculations. Would it surprise you that a 25-pound Rottweiler puppy eats almost as much as a 75-pound adult? However, the ill effects of overfeeding and adding too many supplements to the diet of a large breed puppy leave many pet owners in a quandary. How do you solve the confusion around how much to feed a Rottweiler puppy? How much to feed Rottweiler puppies depends on several factors including the quality of food, how old your pup is, and its weight. Once you figure out a starting point based on caloric needs or body weight percentages, you must assess your puppy's body condition to adjust feeding amounts. Rotties generally require 1-3 to three cups of kibble as young puppies. They need 3 to 5 cups when first entering adolescence and 4 to 6 cups after 8 months. What should you feed a Rottweiler puppy? Puppies require the same nutrients as adult Rotties, albeit in different proportions. Growth necessitates an increased intake of calories, fats, and proteins. Proteins and fats. While mature dogs need a diet with a protein composition of at least 22%, puppies require food that is 24% to 28% protein. Pups also require a diet that is 14% to 18% fat, compared to 12% to 16% for adults. The added proteins and fats accommodate the increased energy needs of growing muscles. Regarding nutritional deficits in large and giant-sized pups, AFCO set minimal amounts for the macronutrients protein and fat at 22.8% and 8.5% respectively. Keep in mind that minimal specs do not equate to optimal nutrition. That is why the numbers above are significantly higher than AFCO requirements. Since protein amounts in puppy food tend to be much higher than minimum prescribed levels, the main concern becomes to avoid overweight and obese puppies. Animal proteins remain the gold standard for puppy food because meat, unlike plant material, supplies all the essential amino acids a dog needs. Moreover, the proteins in meat are bioavailable to dogs, while a dense cellular wall protects plants. This does not stop some commercial diets from using corn, peas, or potatoes as their primary proteins, as these foods are significantly cheaper than meats. Therefore, you must keep in close contact with your veterinarian or a nutritionist or learn how to read dog food labels. Animal fats are more species-appropriate for dogs than plant oils. However, many premium dog foods successfully use coconut, safflower, hemp, and olive oil. These fats are more stable than some fish oils and have the benefit of being mercury-free. Fats are essential to growth but are high in energy relative to their nutritional value. Therefore, they are more likely to contribute to obesity than proteins if the quantities are excessive. Moreover, one of the overlooked side effects of providing a diet too high in fat is that it depletes other nutrients such as calcium. This is most likely if the diet is over 20% fat. Nevertheless, fats can benefit puppies with difficulty maintaining weight during rapid growth. We have all seen the pit bull or Rottweiler puppy that looks too thin despite its ribs showing high caloric intake. Among the more crucial fats are omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. The unique benefits of animal fats become evident when comparing omega fatty acids. Plant products, apart from coconuts, generally are comprised of ALAs or short-chain fatty acids. Coconut oil is composed of medium-chain fatty acids, while fish oils have long-chain fatty acids such as docosahexaenoic acid DHA, and icosapentaenoic acid EPA. DHA, especially, is crucial for brain development. So much do omega-3s affect training that AAFCO has finally prescribed a minimum recommended intake of 40 mg perk of EPA and 25 mg perk of DHA for puppies, calcium and phosphorus. Also essential in Rottweiler puppy food are vitamins and trace minerals. Calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium are among the crucial micronutrients in growth. The phosphorus to calcium ratio is incredibly vital and dog owners frequently disrupt it by attempting to supplement calcium. The ratio of dietary phosphorus to calcium should be approximately 1 to 1. AFCO has set minimal phosphorus amounts at 1% of the diet and calcium at 1.2% of total food consumption. Calcium imbalances can be particularly detrimental in large breed, rapidly growing puppies. After some studies showed a link between excess dietary calcium and joint and bone growth abnormalities, hip dysplasia and panastitis, AFCO set maximum daily calcium levels at 4,000, 500 mg per 1,000 calories or 1.8% of the diet. How much to feed Rottweiler puppy? There are two primary ways to determine how much to feed a Rottie puppy. Both methods consider the pup's age and activity levels and rely on body scoring. Body scoring assesses your pup's condition and is an effective means to gauge whether you are feeding too much or not enough. Body Condition Scoring There are two body scoring methods. The difference is one is scaled from 1 to 9 and the other 1 to 5. The former allows the evaluator to include more details and subtleties. 
If you want to know more, click the link below or visit anythingrottweiler.com.